What's up friends, it's Full Fire Core, and today we are going to be using a defensive Charizard inside PU, as you see right there on the team. Yeah, so Charizard is uh, a very interesting mod. It has a lot of really broken things about it. It has megas and all that. It's still insanely strong under sun, especially with solar power specs, solar power scarf, but hell no, we're not using no sun. This is how you make Charizard really strong about the use of weather effects or basically anything like that so yeah we're using defensive this is um because pokeam and mv made a video quite a while ago basically saying you know we can make charizard a beast without having to use sun and it was just a really cool offensive charizard but they did consider making a defensive charizard so since it's down set of pu i'm gonna use it down there where it belongs it's you know not amazing but it's still pretty cool, and I think this defensive set is going to put in work. So this is a Zelda-themed team, kind of. We have a uh, Nidra, it's the black or purple-ish dragon inside of Zelda Breath of the Wild. The corrupted one by the Malice. How to do that one? Uh, this has Mystical Fire, Scorching Sand, Defog, and Roost. Very defensive, defensive, defensive. And this has uh, enough special defense to guarantee living a thunder from a timid, ah. Uh, what, what's the thing called? I, I don't know. G -G Garvantula, yeah. So we can live a thunder from Garvantula, which might not, you know, you might not think we could, but, you know, normal Garvantula, like a heavy duty boots variant or a lead sticky webs or something like that, we can come in there and guarantee a live, unless we get paralyzed. But, you know, who cares? Yeah, so we have heavy duty boots on, of course, and it should be pretty cool. I think Nydra's a female, though, so I'm gonna make this a female. Yeah. Next we have Talus, the stone Talus, or inside this case a water Talus. This mod's pretty cool. Uh, last video inside of PU, or the video before that, I was talking about how I got totally clobbered by Lycanroc, and this team gets absolutely fucked by it too. So I decided to put on another ground ghost type that can counter Lycanroc uh, normal form. Especially since I want this mod to put in work, Charizard. I want to have Palisand come in there on the Acceleroc, which will inadvertently scare me out. So yeah, we have Scorching Sands, two Scorching Sands mods, Shadow Ball, Shore Up, and Stealth Rocks. I don't know what this, uh, this Eevee spreads for. Oh yeah, I wanted to hit 210. I'm going to make it max physical defense. <laughs> yeah, I just, I want to live everything from that beast of a Pokemon. Like, I know Lycanroc's not that good inside of PU. Well, he, he's good, but he's not, like, uncounterable. So I want to make sure I have the easiest chance of... You guys thought for a second there I was going to go in there with that uh, four Eevee spreads missing, didn't you? Yeah, I want to be as prepared as possible. Yeah, water compact, so that could do something with maybe an Aqua Jet, but... I think the only mod that runs Aqua Jet is like some weird... Um, I don't remember what its name is. Quillfish, yes, yes. Next we have Epona. It's a horse, so I had to run that justified life orb it can uh, get switched in on talus or yeah this could also be another switch in for lycanroc so if it's going to go for like a crunch or something on some of our mons that are weak to crunch we can go into this mon and get our justified boost and take them out so we have leaf, leaf blade close combat stone engine the sword stance very basic set it's epona because it's the horse from zelda little goron it rolls around and uh, i wanted a cool scarfer so we have scarf token tomorrow over here very basic PU Scarfer. Also going to be our Lightning Rod-er, since again, I want as many ways for Charizard to get in there and be able to be defensive. Yeah, so very basic. Next we have a physical, yes, a physical Mesprit, since I wanted to run physical. Yep, I didn't want to have a perfect split of a, uh, well never mind. I just wanted only two Mons to be special oriented, even though they're both defensive. I want all my offensive mons to be physical. I really wanted to use physical Mesprit. So here we go. We got Zen Headbutt, Drain Punch, Fire Punch, and U-Turn. When you look at stats, like, I think it can defend itself. I think. It has the same stats as, like, a Mythical pretty much. So, well, besides a few. But still, th those are some pretty good stats there for it to be inside of PU. It's Navi. Little fairy that says, hey, look, listen. How to do that? I gave it leftovers because i kind of wanted it to get a little bit more shit i don't know <laughs> maybe i should make it banded would that be cool nah nah 
I'll leave it leftovers for now for... Actually, I think I'll put heavy duty boots on. Yeah, let's put the let's let's put the boots on. Put the boots on. That'll help it out instead of a uh, stealth rocks or something. So I can it could be the U-turner for the team, let's say that. Then we have Kelma. Uh, if you haven't played Twilight Princess, this is the barkeeper. It's uh she's kinda weird. Twilight Princess is kinda weird. But she's like the busty barkeeper. You could look her up. She's pretty weird looking and she's kind of a mother ish figure inside the story she talks to link like she is his mother her mother his mother yeah so mother character we got telma this is a normal sylph scark sylph scarf kangaskhan which i think also could play into the the whole defensive roles of these dudes if this mon can get in there there we go we also have priority so that's cool defensive zard in pu with a zelda theme that is probably not going to be featured inside the thumbnail for some reasons but you know maybe maybe let's see if we can do something inside this tier what i'm hoping for is pokemon that are not going to automatically set up dual screens inside my face since i have no defog and as you can also see i have no way to get rid of hazards well no, actually no mind. i have charizard but again on there's quite a bit of pokemon out there that's set up that can take out charizard so hopefully we can just showcase its defensive role inside the tier so that's my main goal. I just want to showcase it to the best of its abilities. All right, so we got a good defensive game over here with uh, these defensive mons. Looks like Sticky Web to me. Fine with me. I love Charizard here. Love, love, love. <laughs> also, Epona is literally gonna eat his eat his entire existence. And also, yeah, he's he's not looking so hot right now. But I think I want to just start off with my defensive Charizard. Hello, Rabombi. How's it going? Got defog for you and all that if you want to paralyze me. Yeah, my only switch into paralyzation is a mon that I'd rather not have that. So if you want to paralyze me, that's fine. Guzzlord comes out. All right. So, yeah. I have a feeling that might be Quiver Dance or Bombi then, since my team's kind of weak to Quiver Dance. Well, a few of my mons are. Huh. What would this thing do? Like, I'm pretty sure most of these run special these days, so. I don't know. I'm going to say my switch in would probably be Epona. Again, I'm still learning the new PU meta, so hopefully this dude doesn't just kill me right here. Oh, there we go. That's a that's a nice justified. I lose my life orb, but, you know, I get even more of a buff. So I appreciate that. Big preach, big preach. I'll go for a CC here. For a bone beef, okay. I want to go for the Stone Edge, but I still get some insane damage on him. And he can, uh, yeah, I'm going back to my Charizard. Could have went into uh, Togi tomorrow, but I think I'll actually go for a defog here. Goes back into Guzzlord. Yep, that's fine. Um, you don't have any stealth rocks, so I don't really... I'm not too worried about you going for knockoff and that kind of stuff. And since you're physical, I think I could take it pretty well. I'm going to go for a Scorching Sand here. Get a nice burn. Poison Jab. Um, I think I can um, take this thing out myself. I think I can. He does poison jab me there, which is a good play on him, but yeah, I don't know. Full physical, don't want to lose that. Yeah, I'm just going to stay in here and uh, go for Mystical Fire. Do more damage than the Scorching Sand. And also he's uh, a Draco variant, which is interesting. All right, so so far this is a pretty good showcase. Um, we're totally walling his entire team like I expected. He has literally nothing and his Guzzlord is burnt and that Draco Meteor did legit nothing and I'm faster than it, so I can just go for, yeah. He is absolutely walled by this thing. I think the only way he's gonna be able to do this is to go into Sock and Stone Edge and yeah. He's trying to crit me right now, which I do not appreciate. I'm actually going to go for the uh, Scorching Sand here. I think that's the better play. Yeah. Can I get the burn? Please? Please thank you? Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, this is exactly what I wanted. This is the exact showcase. Um, he should knock me off here. But I'm going to go into Talus just because. I think Stone Edge is more likely here since I don't think he wants to take any more damage. He's just going to CC. 
He sees, sees me. Damn, what the? What the fuck? I'm gonna step the stealth rocks. I don't really care about knockoff. It does literally nothing. And go for the shadow ball here. Yep, he has no way to break my team. He is he was just boned at the start. I didn't even bring out any mullins. That was literally just Charizard right there. All right, now we have a more offensive team over here with um, maybe T-Spikes and defensive. Yeah, maybe, yeah, maybe Wish Passing Romatis. I always want to think like the most obvious sets for the Mons, but this is another game of uh, Charizard does quite a bit if I can get it in on the right Mons. And also Kangaskhan does quite a bit if I can get it in on the right Mons, which I will. Mm, I think I kind of just want to go... Yeah, he, he shouldn't go Virizion, right? Well, Virizion's quite strong against me. But... Hmm. You know... I'm doing it. I'm going to lead Charizard. He does go into the Heliolisk. Which... Sure, might be a little obvious to go into the Talus, and then he's going to make a real nice switch on me, but... You know, we'll see. Yep, kind of figured, but he also has Surf, so that's something he can do. Yep, probably should win instead of my Epona. Oh well, I guess that's uh, how you learn these things. Or how you think about these things. More than a fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, I can just go for the uh, Leaf Blade here, I think. He's gonna go into Flame Body Talon Flame, ain't he? No, he's gonna Volt Switch out, right? Yeah, I'm gonna Stone Edge here. Can I hit? Nice. Okay, well, that was a little obvious. So he was Defensive Talon Flame, or I guess he really wanted that uh, that Flame Body. I made up for it. I made it for my bad play with a. Oh, my kneecap. That was. That was a new level. Crack my kneecap open. Aromatis comes out, which, you know, I got a little Goron, man. I got a little Goron, and you have no flame body, so, you know. I'm gonna go for the wish into whom you are not looking too hot, Holmes, and you have very few switch-ins to, actually, I could just encore you in here. I'm an iron head once. Wheezing, okay. So I guess he wants to wish him some man. Okay, so full physically defensive wheezing, pretty sure. With flamethrower up in this up in this crib, yo. With levitate. Hmm. This is probably a bad play, but I'm gonna do it. Don't burn me, please. And now I think yeah, since it's egg rounds kinda. I'm going to go for the Zen here. If it goes into the Aggron, I'm going to be pretty happy. Because I have Drain Punch for that. Oh, 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 please let me. Please let me do it. <laughs> please let me punch you right here. I did nothing, but, you know. It, it was resisted. Drain Punch, please. Drain Punch, come on. He's probably really confused right now. Physical. I did nothing, but, you know, whatever. Oh, you thought... You thought. You really did. Mm, he has very little switches to this. I'm just going to go for the... Uh, Aromatisse makes more sense here. I don't think he would sack this thing. So I could go for the U-turn here. What a U-turn. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for the U-turn. Yes. Okay. So the Aromatisse does come out. I'm able to get some nice um, priority with Talus and his Shore up. I don't think he can kill me. I have no special defense though, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold my breath. I'm gonna go into this mom. Yeah. I can't even see myself, but you know, whatever. And I'm just gonna go for the double edge. I don't really want him switching out into something. You know, maybe fake out chip. He might go into wheezing for that chip, since fake out's kind of obvious here. And if he goes hard into something, I'm. I'm gonna have to switch out anyway, so why not just go for the double edge and do as much damage with this Sylph Scarf Skilf Sylph Sylph Scarf Double Edge. 
So please, who are you going into? You don't have much of a play here since your egg round will be two shot. Actually, actually, your egg round will not be two shot, but I have drain punch, so you know. Protect. All right, I'm still double edging, bud. How much you taking from this? That is, eh, like it's fine, but I'd appreciate something better. Since you're Rocky Helmet, and I doubt you're like Pain Split or something, would it be better just to try to take you out now? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to Charizard. He goes into Heliolisk. That's pretty unfortunate. But you know it's fine. Since he might predict my opponent to come in. I don't think I'm going to be able to lift T-Bolt. I'm, I'm going to go into it. Oh, oh he's, he, he's thinking. He's going to go into Aromatisse over here. He's definitely going to go into Aromatisse. Well, these things usually run dry skin, right? So I'm going to go for the flamethrower. Come on, switch out. Switch out. Switch out. Switch out. Do it. Do it. Come on, man. The suspense is killing me. Yeah, we actually take that pretty well, and this should do quite a bit of damage. You know? It did quite a bit of damage. And I don't think he can kill me now with the next Surf. I don't think so. Well, actually, T-Bolt should kill me now. Well, actually, I, I was going to click out, but it did not happen. It did not. It did not. So now I go into... A Navi and just go for the Drain Punch. His Weezing is annoying as fuck, man. And the Aromatisse is also annoying as fuck. Wish Protect, probably Knock Off, all that kind of shit. Man. Alright, Verizon will be switched in, but my phone's lagging, pretty cool. Again, I don't want this dude Volt switching out, so I think, uh... Just going for the Leaf Blade is fine here. And I doubt he would go into the Weezing. I think... Yeah, I'm gonna go for Leaf Blade here. He doesn't have too many switch-ins, and taking uh, any kind of damage on Verzion is, is fine. Since he still can't really beat the Mesprit at the moment. He, yeah, so he goes into Aromatisse. This should do like 30. 50. Oh my. Glad I went for that. He's going to protect here. I'm going to Source Dance. <laughs> oh. Alright, whatever. I still get my uh, same outcome, so, you know. You were slower than me, and uh, now I'm plus one. And you don't really have a switch in. And I don't think your Verizion kills me with anything. So you're going to have to sack a bunch of Mons to get your Life Orb. Oh, he's going to go inside a Weezing over here. He's going to go inside a Weezing. I want a Stone Edge. I'm a Stone Edge. Well, he should protect, right? Stall me out. He's going to go into Weezing over here on the Wish. Like, I'm going to kill it regardless, so I'm going to go for the... I'm going to go for the... Come on. There we go. There we go, there we go. Pretty cool. It does like zero damage, but you know, at least I call it, so that's something. Um, I think I, no, 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 that's, that's not the play. <laughs> I've made a mistake. And then he, and then he poisons me, but whatever. Yeah, not the play. Oh. Well, that's what you want to do. That's what, that's what you can do. I have quite a bit of levitators in here, in, in this house, yo. Yeah. Still know how I'm going to beat the Heliolisk. Probably with um, Scarf Togan tomorrow, I'm just going to have to U-turn in and out on it like five times. So if I can kill the Aromatisse, or, okay, Verzion does come out. Get the Shadow Ball damage. Do like two damage with the Scorching Sands here. Oh my, oh my. 
So my unfortunate situation has just become even more unfortunate since, yeah, he's that set. All right, little Goron, you're just gonna have to come in, come out, come in, come out. You know how it goes. Air slash. Okay, so he's life or That's that's helpful. At least I know that. Going a little Goron over here. Um, I'll go for the U-turn. Yeah. So these things are on Focus Blast, right? Shit like that. Right? Something like that. He can go into Weezing again. Yeah, yeah, he knows what's up. I'm just gonna get absolutely clobbered by the constant thing. Because this dude's team is bulky as fuck. Romatisse, Weezing, all just pain. But we'll wait for him to make his play. Really hope he just, uh, I don't know, sacks the, sacks the aromatisse, sacks the wheezing, something like that. I'm just going to go for U-turn over here. Since, nice crit. Pretty cool. Um, my Brizion is still important, and maybe he's modest on his helio. Actually, he might be Scarf. That's that, that's something I don't want to think about. Uh, what do you go for here? Well, I literally lose to the wheezing if I kill that mon. So I'm honestly gonna go into a pawn over here. It might seem like the bad play, but I'm gonna go into it. He does miss the focus blast, so I have a chance of. Uh, you know, taking him out here. I do take him out, which is pretty cool. I lose some more life orb damage. Yep, but now I'm just fighting the Aromatisse. Back at it again. That Krispy Kreme. Please just take me out. I am I'm in your custody. Please get a Oh, that was not what I wanted. Alright. Well Look. It's, it's up to you, Navi. It's up to you. This is the whole reason why I put you on here. And I really don't care about the Aromatisse too much. Then Headbutt. Eh. I don't really have a switch in. Actually, I could go for a U-turn here. Expecting him to switch out since he shouldn't stay in. Yeah, sure. He shouldn't stay in. No, he decides to stay in. Alright, pretty weird. You can go for a Flamethrower. No, he goes for the Sludge Bomb. Alright, I get some interesting damage. That's fine with me. I think a Zing Zap here is definitely the play. He does have a chance of Paralyzation, so, you know, maybe I could get that. will o -Wisp. Oh my god, man. Your set is disgusting, man. This Mon is always disgusting. Whenever I'm playing against it, it is just disgusting. Well, uh, yeah. Do a little bit of a little bit of damage here. Nice little flinch. He's gonna go into the aromatis now. Yep, he is. Did I crit him again? Go down there, go down, go down! No, I just did 14. Alright. Uh uh. Yeah. Yep, seems about right. I lost this one. I don't think I have a way of winning this. And my timer's going down like crazy. Just kill me, man. I don't want to deal with this shit anymore. Go to your wheezing or something. Come on. Let me let me kill you. Boy wished again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't even want to play this anymore with the whole wish passing shit. <laughs> It was the entire game, man. Even though Zard did something at the beginning. Could help you wish, please. What the fuck is this shit? Unloaded? That's what you are. Alright. So, he has a really fancy out creamy. I didn't know uh, it showed up on the uh, the main stage like that. Yeah, but I like it. Rapid spin. Scyther is scary as hell. Kind of looking at this right now, and he seems to be the same person as me. 
trying to play the game, but he's worried about Lycanroc, which is why he probably has a few mods in here as a counter to Lycanroc. Probably Cobra Berry on the Jellicent, too. Uh, man, I really, really like a Pona over here. It is faster than almost every single mod. It kind of just kills him, so I'm going to attempt to get a sweep with it. Later in the game, though, since I think I can just go into uh, my Telma or my Kangaskhan, because I like that mod. Um, curse body. I don't really care if you Cursify my, my fake out here. Nice little flinch. I'm gonna go for the Will-O-Wisp. Since that did that much and that does that much, this is gonna kill. It does not, and you're going to burn me. Acid armor. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, whatever. No bludge again. Cool. So maybe he expected something else. Surprised he didn't will o me immediately. You know? I think if this is the normal type, I can wall this. I think. Go for the Scorching Sands here. Be a little bit of an annoying little brat. Ooh, get the, the first. The first. And the triple axle doing like three. He can't counter me. He can't able to get that lowering of the rainbow swirls stats and don't even want to deal with that thing so i'm going to go into little gore on here this thing has like nothing to touch steel types i've used it so you know trust me about that and i'll just go for the iron head actually even inside the case of the uh hitmon top i think i could just go for the iron head i really i, I really don't care this you rocky sand spit that's probably um a fake one or you probably misplayed there so he's gonna glare me yeah i kind of want to go for a another one just so he doesn't glare me or stealth rock me so i'm gonna go for an iron head i'm gonna make the play so he does end up rock sliding me a little obvious that he'd go for something like that now he's probably gonna go for the earthquake since he doesn't want me to flinch him please don't go for the glare Please, I need this mon. Orbeetle. Uh, hi, Orbeetle. How's it going? You bulky as fuck, bruh. You always the bane of my existence. Psychic on this mon. Bug buzz. I don't think you can take out this mon again. This mon seems to be the bane of your existence. Calm mind. Right. I'll just go for the iron head again. It's no drawback. You're probably physically defensive. You might be acid armor or something like that, but... Actually, if you're Acid Armor, I, I, I don't even think you learn Acid Armor. I did two damage, though. Legit two damage. Oh my. I forget this thing's um, prowess quite a bit. As a literal monster. And actually, I don't think that's the play. Right, right. I didn't click that, Holmes. But okay. So I'll go for a fake out over here since I don't think this thing has any weird abilities. God, it's fat. It is so fat. Oh, Umbrilli? Oh, Umbrilli? Oh, yeah, perfect. Stored power. And then my strongest next attacker would be. Will Goron? Wait, do I want to Encore into Stored Power and then go into like Navi or something? I don't really know how to beat this thing, Holmes. This thing's always going to just clobber me. Yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Encore into that. Definitely my play. Unless Iron Head uh, does enough, which I don't think it does. Yes, it is a Zelda theme team. It is. It is. Uh, 21. Yeah, I'm going to encore you into that. Holy Jesus, bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. You go ahead and do that, man. And then... Yeah, no leftovers. So I don't really know what this thing's running. But... 
yeah. We'll go into this thing and go for the fire punch and hopefully be able to two-shot it. Oh, yeah, plenty. Plenty. That is too much. Um, Go for the fire punch again, I don't care. All right, we took out the threat. I think that was uh, minimizing damage, maybe. That thing is... Jesus. Okay, Santa Connor comes out. I kind of find this disrespectful to my full physically offensive mon, the monster. Literally, the monster. Epona wins by now. It literally does. So, if I just hit one single stone edge, I win. Yeah. No one runs Scarf. Cool, cool. So, I think I could just go into uh, Talus over here. Huh? What kind of tech is that? <laughs> Alright. That's what you want to do. You can do that. Kind of weird, though. Alright, we got him on top again. Coming in here. Coming in hot. With um, the same thing. Bulk up triple axle. Scary as fuck. Don't like dealing with it, to be honest. Really don't. Also because I don't really have too much for it. So I'll go for a Scorching Sands here. Since all it's going to be able to do is go for the uh, triple axle on me. Come on, phone. I believe in you. Alright. Sorry about that. I'm just going to continue going for the uh, Scorching Sands. When he takes me out, that is fine. That's crit. Now I go into my little Goron. No. Navi. Yeah, yeah. If I weaken him down enough, pretty sure I could just go into Epona. Flinch. Okay, he's just a berry team. And he's going to rapid spin me. Become faster than me, which I do not appreciate, bro. I do not appreciate in the slightest. Since that probably made him faster than a lot of my mons that I would have appreciated. Oh, now I really don't like that. Alright. Well, we going into this, I guess. Could have went into that and weakened it a little bit. But he was just going to mock punch me. So, you know how that goes. I'll go over the uh, close combat here. Okay, so I'm still faster. That's good. Now it's basically just if I can uh, hit a stone edge, and then the rest is the, the rest is history. Okay, I closed my eyes for a little bit there since I was a little worried, but I think we win now uh, with the iron head and all that. I don't know why he went inside of this mon. He should have immediately went inside of the other one, but you know whatever. Sand spit, cool. Yeah, fifteen HP, perfectly fine. Go for another Leaf Blade. I don't be draining Kiss or something annoying like that. Oh, I get an unfortunate crit. And he's only Mystical Fire. So, don't think he's Rocky. Iron Head, very close final game. Whatever the outcome. Yeah, okay. GG, bro. GG. Peace out. All right, so I think that's going to wrap it up for this video of Defensive Zard and PU. Oh, boy, that was a very interesting video showcasing... Defensive Zard and PU. Definitely still my favorite tier. It's got a lot crazier. But you know, you guys should start using this. It uh, it puts in work. Specifically just inside that first game, since it walled that entire team. And, you know, it lived quite a bit of things that it shouldn't have lived due to its defensive status. But with that being said, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And keep on lookout for my videos.